Hello students, welcome back to school. I hope you had a nice time while your holiday last. Well, we are back again. In uh, Last time we looked at um, the subject civil society. This time we are going to be commencing with the topic popular participation. Let us first of all start by looking at the definition of popular participation. Popular participation is the voluntary and purposeful effort by which members of a political uh, system contribute to the determination of the kind of political institution and people that will rule them. So popular participation is a system whereby everybody in a country or in a particular state are involved in the decision making as it concerns those that will you know, form the government that will rule them for a certain period of time. It is very important that, you know, to an extent, a, a large number of the citizens in a particular country should be more involved in politics than we're having a situation whereby we have a lesser members involved and a large numbers are not involved. That is engaged what is known as popular participation. So, but it's okay when you have a larger number and involved, you have few persons who still will not want to be involved because of course you will still have the issue of uh, our political in um, almost all countries you still have some few persons for one reason or the other of the other wants to stay neutral we'll now look at types of um, popular participation popular participation of individuals and the degree of such participation vary greatly from person to person consequently it is common to classify the levels of participation into different types. The commonest classification as follows. We have one, the gladiatorial level of activities. At this level, people become involved in political activities by standing as candidates for elective positions. So the, this first level, which is known as the gladiatorial uh, level of activities, from the word gladiator, talks about those who fight to be uh, superior to others or fight to be um, to be a kind of uh, to get a kind of um, uh, a position over another person so we're talking about those who run for elective position like those who run for the gubernatorial election those who run for governorship election those who run for presidential election those who run for senatorial election all these people are known as the gladiatorial uh, uh, persons at that level that is where they are they are uh, participating and, and it's that seems to be the highest level of politics another one there is transitional level of activities political participation in this category usually take the form of attending political meetings or rallies making monetary contribution to a party or candidate for elective position. So those who also are party members, who attend political meetings, who go to rallies, who make contribution to political party or candidate for elective position, they are transitional uh, level uh, persons. That is the level at which they participate. We're going to look at the spectator level of activities. Political activities at this level include wearing buttons of political parties, placing party stickers on one's car, displaying party symbols or logo on doors. So those who also, you know, for one reason or the other, they are like uh, affiliated to a particular party. They wear their logo. They sometimes use their their material the party uh, material to sew a, a kind of um, a, a cloth which they will put on uh, they are more like a fan like you have in uh, this club where you have uh, you are a fan of a particular club and so on and so forth so all of that uh, those persons are also showing their own activities at the spectator level they will not have the last one which is the apathetic level of activities the people who are classified as politically apathetic are those who show no interest in political activity. So this is what we know as political apathy. Those who are not interested. When you just talk about politics, you say, no, 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 I'm not interested. I don't want to talk about anything as it concerns politics. So these people, they are at this lowest level 
of political activities. They are neither involved nor want to be involved. They are not there and they don't want to be. All right, now look at need for popular participation in, in the society. The need for political participation in the society can be discussed at two levels, namely the individual level and the government level. When I look at the individual level, people usually participate in politics for the achievement of the following. One, promotion of their economic or material well-being. So people participate in politics because they want to sometimes also share in the national cake. They want to get some of the money and also become better so that they will be able to achieve some certain things. Another reason some persons participate is to meet, you know, meeting with basic psychological need some people have a need that is psychological it could be about how they feel and they want to you know begin to start rubbing shoulder with some certain kind of people and they, they, they think that politics will be the platform for which they will be able to achieve that another one is provision of self-esteem some people also feel you know big when they are now a politician they are now rubbing shoulder with some certain uh, persons the, 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 their self-esteem become very high, they walk with their shoulder high in the society, they feel like they have arrived. So it gives them some, some sense of, um, of achievement. Another one is provision of political power. So people also get involved in politics because they want to assess political power. They want to have some political will so that they will be able to do some certain things that ordinarily they would have been able to do. When I look at the government level, one of that is provision of legitimacy. You know, some persons at the government level, you know, being involved also make them to have some legitimacy because when you win an election and you are aware that a large majority of people voted you into power, it gives you some, some mind of believing that you were accepted by the people. You were voted into office by a majority of the people. Another one is establishment of democracy. So it also enhances democracy because democracy is a government or is a system of government of the majority. So if the majority are involved, it means democracy is established. The other one is provision of political stability. So when the people are also aware that it is the decision of the people, they are the one who voted him into power then there will be no need to fight the government in power because it is the people who have asked him to to rule them they have voted him into power so it will also now enhance and promote political stability the other one is provision of sense of belonging so it also makes the government to feel that they belong to the people because the people have given them that acceptance other one is provision of political education so through that the people are aware they are given an enlightenment and they will also therefore go further to enlighten others. The another one is enhancement of government effort. So it also makes government to want to do more because they know that majority of people voted them into power and as such they own these persons. They will not want to disappoint them. When I look at traditional and modern mode of popular participation, in Africa setting, the following are the ways in which roles are assigned we have the age grade the age grade are, are, are the young youth in the society they are like the policing of the society they are like those who are there to ensure that nobody breaks the law and whenever anybody does so they are the ones to arrest the person apprehend the person and bring the person before the council of the elders the council of the elders are those who make policies for the society and they are also, you know, sometimes those who push for it to be implemented. So it is the age grade also who also eventually implement some of those policies that are made by the Council of Elders. We now have religious and societal authorities. You know, in the area of religion, you have the pastors or the priests ruling in the area of religion, deciding what will happen, you know, consulting with God and also bringing it to the mind of the people. Then in the societal uh, authorities, you have the those who are head of markets you have the youth leaders and so on and so forth and at their level they are also playing their own role to ensure that there is peace and harmony and miss their set now look at the modern mode 
of popular participation. One is voting during election. So that is the pattern now. You vote, you go to vote to cast your vote during election for a candidate of your choice. Another one is writing petition. So if you if you feel aggrieved, you're not happy with the way things went, you can petition the system. The other one is demonstration. You can also organize something like a protest, peaceful protest, where people will come out to display placard to express their displeasure for one policy or the other that was made by government that do not go down well with the citizen. Then giving of financial or material assistance to political parties. So people are also doing that. They give money, they donate to a particular political party that um, uh, their vision align with their own interest. Then holding public offices. You know, sometimes you're also appointed into office to assist the government of the day to achieve uh, more success. Another one is political debate. As you can see, in almost all the election that is done today, they, they always organize a political debate. Like in Edo recently, when election was done, uh, a political debate was organized between the APC and the PDP government, uh, the PDP candidate, to come and debate on what both of them have as plans to achieve whenever, if one of them is eventually declared the winner of the election. The number seven is campaign for parties or candidates. You also have a situation whereby people come together to campaign for a particular candidate or for a particular party because they, they believe in those persons and they believe they can do better if they are given the opportunity to come into office. This is all we are going to take in this lesson. Our next class, we will look at other topics. I will see you in my next class.